What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Rips Card Rips. Sorry we're running about five minutes late tonight. Just waiting on some payments to come through. We are finally sorted out and ready to go. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys are excited about 2024. Tops Chrome UFC. Fanatics just snuck out of nowhere and stole this license. They put together what's been a pretty decent product so far. It's uh, I ripped a couple of boxes myself. I've watched some breaks of it. Um, I still think it's crazy that they snatched this license. I really liked what Panini did with UFC. I think it's kind of a joke that Fanatics got this license out of nowhere, but, you know, they put together a product with a bunch of sticker autos and some some cool inserts, and, you know, you got Super Fractors back and reds and oranges and all that fun stuff. So hopefully this case is awesome. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, welcome to Rips Card Rips. We are live. If you guys love this product, we have a case tomorrow night and also a case on Monday. So we are your home for the UFC for the rest of the weekend. There's some pretty good fights on tonight. And by pretty good fights, I mean so far the fights have been horrendous. Um, Julian Arosa just won a fight, which means probably probably not a great fight card so far. Julian Arosa is a winner. He may actually be the worst fighter on the entire UFC roster, and he just won a fight. So who knows what's going to happen the rest of the night, but we got the fights on. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves, watching the fights, getting ready to rip some UFC. Again, we're running a couple minutes late tonight. We're just waiting on some last-minute payments and some messages from some people who didn't pay, who are wondering why they don't have an order anymore. And the answer is always very clear, because you didn't pay. Yeah, a lot of people got these spots really cheap, so hopefully you guys enjoy... Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully the case is loaded for you. Uh, I think so many people are breaking this stuff. I think the uh, the spots are going very affordably, which is good for everyone in the breaks. And uh, I'm happy that uh, everyone gets the spots they want, gets a little discount, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy yourselves. I think I already got released from the UFC. Yeah, thank you, Phil. It's gonna get. I'm sure it's gonna get interesting over there. Again, we're live on Instagram and on YouTube. Ready to rip 2024 Chrome UFC. We're running a couple minutes late, so sorry about that. Usually we're right on time or a couple minutes early, but we just had so many non-paid spots tonight. Thank you to those of you guys who took on the non-paid spots. It, uh, it usually doesn't happen in any other sports. This is the first time in a long time I've had so many unpaid spots and so many people who just don't respond messages. So traditionally, when you buy into an eBay break, if you just read the listing, you can see the time the payment needs to be in on. It's not anything that we're trying to be sneaky on. It's just, we need you to pay before the break starts. So we had a lot of people tonight that didn't pay. So I usually reach out to regulars. We saw the spots. That's how that works. Um, but if you ever buy into a break in the future and of mine, there's always a cutoff time. There's always the, and I always give everybody some leeway. So just so you guys all know, always try to make sure you got time to pay. Um, but we want to make sure that nobody's free rolling here in breaks. That's kind of a big move these days i sell them to regulars i just message people um but it happens all it doesn't really happen all that often but tonight it was crazy so many people just didn't respond didn't pay and then i checked the feedback see if you've ever bought i checked the feedback see if you've ever bought from me before which is always big so if you've never bought from me before and i don't know you you know it's it's a different it's a different thing so either way in the future if you buy in, just look at the time. There's always a time. Hey, the break's at 9.30. You got to pay by 9. Very simple stuff. Um, but hope to see everybody in future breaks. We got a case tomorrow night and the night after that. Good luck in tonight's break. Let's go. It's fighting right now. Hollabaugh and Ogden. These are two bad fighters. Here we go, 12 boxes, fresh case. Ooh, I like that half or half or one way, half or the other way. Interesting. The case we ripped four Lucy's out of on our Instagram channel had a red, three golds, a super, and two oranges, so, and, and three case hits. I know there's a ton of different case hits in this. There's hidden gems, there's all sorts of stuff in here, so. You really, you really got a lot of options, a lot of outs. You got some of the big spots in this. There's so many different big parallels to hit. <laughs> Offended greatly. That's not nice. I think you got all the spots I knew you wanted, my man. You got all your, you got all your usual spots. I was happy to see you got all the ones you want. All right, here we go. 
Uh, what super do we hit? I think we hit Vittori, right? Wasn't Marvin Vittori? It wasn't a great one. Marvin Vittori. Good luck. Again, not a ton of boxes, or not a ton of packs in these boxes. I thought there were going to be more. 12 packs, 8 cards per. If you're uh, planning for your night, I would say this will probably take us a little over an hour. Something like that. Hour and a half. We try to enjoy this. Good luck to you. Jeez, you sold them all? What are you doing? You think she's going to lose the Furo? Or Metal Fuel? However they pronounce that. I don't. I think she's going to smash her. I think she's going to take her down and absolutely destroy her in that fight. That'll be the best bet of the year. Best bet of the year. I assume she's an underdog. Matt Hughes starts the night off. Hall of Fame auto. I feel like that spot went for the men. Congrats to the Matt Hughes spot. Matty Hughes. It's a good one. A country boy can survive. Sergei Spivak. Cerrone. Makachev. Countdown. Hollow. Man, this fight sucks. God, these guys suck. This is a rough, rough card so far. Like, there isn't a single good fighter I've seen on the entire card. Colby Covington out of 150 Refractor Auto. So Auto's right off the bat. Box one, congrats to the Colby spot. The main card's at least a little bit better, but man, these undercards are brutal. The guy that won that got bit was like the only prospect I was excited to see. Uh, Lima or Lima or whatever. But otherwise, I think this might be, this might be fun. Purple, Max Holloway, Maroon, Rob Font, Juliana Pena, who never fights, Yasmin Lucindo, negative, ruthless Robbie Lawler, refractor. We don't send every single, or we don't uh, sleeve and load every single card during the live break. They will be, they will get to you safely and securely, just so you know. Islam, Prism, Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland, former champ, 6'6 six, six out of 299. Again, we will do a full recap at the end, by the way, guys. Full recap at the end of the break of all the numbered cards, short prints, and autos. Look at Trey Ogden all over Holaba. What a boring fight. Negative, Bruno Fajera, rookie. Bullet Shevchenko. Oh, are you watching that? I think I'll probably watch that after this break. Is it good? Is it worth watching? I love, love the first Roadhouse. One of my favorite movies ever. Johnny Walker, Dan Ige, Hamzat, Shemaev, Refractor. All right, not a lot of action out of this box. Autos were just okay. Let's see something low numbered. Blue Wave, 75. The Tausch Gamrot. Cody Garbrandt, negative. On... Anderson Silva fighting with, uh, what's his name? Man, it's a cool, it's a cool card. 15 out of 75. What the hell is his name? I can't think of the guy's name that he's fighting there. Drawn a complete blank. The greatest, greatest knockout in tough history. And I can't think of his damn name. I think Connor's a mess in general. I think he's a booze hound. Uh, Brandon Royval negative. I think he's a booze hound, and I think he's, you know, I think he's just kind of lost his mind a little bit. I think he's in a weird place. He doesn't have the UFC. He's kind of a, he's kind of irrelevant without the UFC. Neil Magny, Jalton Almeida, Brendan Allen. Is that tied to Avasa? Gilbert Burns. Gosh, Gilbert Burns fought such a good fight the other night and then got knocked out for no reason, being an absolute asshole at the end of that fight. Gilbert Burns, tied to Avasa, it's probably. Uriah Hall, thank you, Phil. God, I cannot believe he got in there with Anderson Silva. I think he won the fight, too, didn't he? Brutal that he could have won that fight. Carlston Harris, Corey Sandhagen, negative. Leoto the Dragon Machida, great purchase, by the way, underground. It's one of the best spots in this break. Khalil Roundtree. I like Leo Roundtree Jr. Great story. Rodrigo Nascimento, the notorious. All right, this box is very mid. 
See if we can't get better as we go on. Got an Aqua. Aqua on the back. There's a Jamal Hill. If you think Jamal Hill is going to win, that's 20 bucks. Oh, Brenner purple. Charles Oliveira, negative. And Inui Mizuki. Rookie 117 out of 199. Congrats to the Mizuki spot. All right. The boxes are going to build from there. That was a lousy box. You got him in five breaks and nothing. Well, let's get you a Machida Auto. The Dragon. I still never forget when John Jones choked the life out of him and then just tossed him on the ground. <laughs> was, uh, I, I've always hated John Jones. I've always, I've always hated the human. I think he's a terrible human being. Like, actually one of the worst human beings on Earth. Great fighter, but horrible human. Um... And I remember rooting so hard for Machida in that fight. And <laughs> John Jones just ragdolled him and chucked him on the ground. And it was like, we were at a bar. I remember we were at like a BW3s. And we were just like, oh, God. That really just happened. That really, I mean, that was, wow. That was tough. That was tough to, that was a tough one to stomach. Ah, oh, man, this guy was doing so good. And then he just got right back in to get dry humped again. Rafa Garcia, Bilal Muhammad negative, Dustin Poirier, Generation Now. Is that one of the 57 case hits or no? You guys will have to let me know if that was one of the case hits. I don't think I've seen one of these yet in, what, like six boxes, so that's probably some sort of a case hit. Let me know. We'll get it on the wall if it's a case hit. They listed, like, 30 SSPs, so... It's hard to say. There's a gold on the back. Good luck on the gold. Alejandro Pantoja. Bill Algio negative. Yes, it's a case hit. Cool. All righty. And speak of the devil. That's funny. Johnny Bones Jones. Big John Bones. Johnny Bones gold out of 50. There you go. When you put 97 case hits on a product... The folks at Fanatics don't realize they devalue all of them, but still cool cards. They got to stop that. There's like six case hits in this. Give me one or two. Then there's hidden gems in here too. In case you guys can't tell, there's Brendan Allen. I'm not a huge fan of Fanatics or anything they do. I think they've, I think since they've kind of taken over and tried to get the Monopoly, I think they've destroyed everything they've touched. But I'm not one of the breakers that screams and yells over every $5 card. I'm one that's pretty honest with you about where I see the future of the hobby going and everything I see. I think I think this product is actually really, really good looking. They've done a good job. The quality control looks good. Chuck the Iceman Liddell negative. But all in all, they're driving up the prices on hobby shops. They're driving up the prices. They're selecting breakers to give product to and taking away from hobby shops, trying to make more money for themselves pricing out people who want to buy boxes for themselves, I think Fanatics is an absolute disaster to the hobby. A disaster, and I think they're going to absolutely crush it in about five years. Just my opinion. I think in five years, I think this hobby's probably dead. Just my opinion. I think they will drive it up so that this kind of product is three or 400 bucks a box, and no one will buy it. Amanda Limos, John Jones, Refractor, Insert. So hopefully Panini keeps fighting. Hopefully Panini keeps fighting and doesn't give up. Soccer. I like that they signed Caitlin Clark. But once Fanatics get, gets their hooks and everything, it's all over. Kulabao Prism. Choi Sungwoo out of 150. Nice one there. Choi Sungwoo out of 150 blue. Speckle on the back. Vanessa Demopoulos, purple. Arnold Allen, negative. Justin Gaethje at its 99. Speckle. Nice Gaethje. Not sure why he's fighting Max Holloway next. Fight doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But that's why I do what I do and they do what they, they do. Youthquake, another case hit. Orange Auto. Orange Auto and a Youthquake. This should be fun. Here we go. We'll save the orange auto. 
We'll do the Youthquake first. Youthquake is Bo Nickel. I think this is like a $150 card. Congrats to the Bo Nickel spot. Congrats, Bo Spot. About a buck fifty on these, according to recent comps. If you list it, enjoy the people trying to sell you on why you should sell it shorter. Short stack cards. What's up? All right, here comes an orange auto. Good luck. Orange auto is not a good one. Amir Albazi. 21 out of 25. Congrats, Amir Albazi spot. Orange auto does not make the wall. Green on the back. Bruno Fajeda, purple. William Gomes and Jared Kenye out of 99, green. Two case hits so far out of two boxes. How many will they give us total? Mr. Hollis, what's up? Volk, Patty the Batty. My God, this fight. This might be the worst fight I've ever seen. It's, ugh, neither one of these guys. Anderson Silva, Josh Emmett. Neither one of these guys should get another fight in the UFC. The guy that's winning is a coach. Stick to that. God, is he boring. Has he landed a punch in this entire fight? Kind of the goal is to inflict damage. Yeesh. Such a bad fight. So bad. All right. Box three. Off to a very okay start, I would say. Just okay. Nothing great. Nothing terrible. Orange and gold. Two case hits through two boxes. We're looking for reds. We're looking for supers. We're looking for better names on the autos. Anderson, silver, negative. Cowboy Cerrone, insert, silver. Auto in here, it looks like. Auto is Valentina Shevchenko. Bullet Shevchenko. Congrats to the Valentina spot on your base auto. Usually she would go on the wall, but after losing two fights to Alexa Grasso, she's going right in the pile over there. Alexa Grasso sucks and has absolutely destroyed the legacy of Valentina Shevchenko. Marlon Vera, Josh Emmett, negative. George St. Pierre, Fists of Fury. Is that, a, is that an SSP? God, it's got to be, isn't it? Fists of Fury. All right. Let me know if that one should go up on the wall. Fists of Fury. What is this, a Bruce Lee movie? Dan Ige, Josh Quinlan, Pedro Munoz, Anderson Silva, and the best fighter in this product. Easily the collectible one that you need. Natalia Christina De Silva. Fanatics isn't smart enough to put her rookie logo on here, even though she's in the rookie autos set. Big hit. Best fighter you could possibly have bought in this break. Congrats to the Natalia Silva spot. Thanks again to Fanatics for forgetting the rookie logo. The only thing you had to do was check the 10 rookies. Make sure the logos were on there, and you couldn't even do that. Yeah, Jack Jang, it's embarrassing. Like, what is the quality control? What do they send it through? And they're just like, ah, just, just print it. They'll pay for it. Just print it. Nobody cares. Jack Jenkins is awesome, too. He lost his last fight, but he was... Man, that guy leg kicks like a tank. Ankle lab, the 150 blue. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. I, you want to message him. Gold on the back. Gold insert on the back. All right. You want to message him, but they just don't even respond anyway, so it doesn't matter. Holly Holm, the preacher's daughter. Negative. Bisping, you got one, there you go. Let's see what this gold is, what the hell is this? Be awesome, be awesome, come on. Islam Mahachev, 31 out of 50, tail of the tape gold, there you go. Well, that's what they know, they know if they print it, we'll buy it, so they don't care, they could care less. 
Oh, yeah, we screwed up the rookie logos. Oh, well, they'll buy it anyway. Nice Islam. Wall's starting to fill up through three boxes, so I will say the case has been pretty damn good so far. All the individual boxes I opened were good. I feel like the product is loaded without any question, so that's the one really, really strong thing about it is the product is loaded. Nice. That's nice, B. Carlson. Conceal, rookie negative. The Reaper. I didn't even know Robert Whitaker's nickname was The Reaper. I'm not a big fan of Robert Whitaker at all. Never have been. It's always kind of bored me to death. Sergey Spivak. Shogun Hua. The Spider. Gold on the back again. Man, this stuff is loaded. No question about it. Alexa Grasso. Dustin Poirier negative. Benil Dariush. And all right, this one's vertical. Love to see it. Good luck. Hands up in the air. Who we got? Otman Azaitar. That's a nice one. Five out of 50. He lost his last fight, but that's another guy with just... Potential to the moon. Atman Zaitar, nice gold. Crunch, what up, man? Phil, get rid of that one. Please. Grant Dawson, Ankalev, Tom Aspinall. Again, welcome to everybody on Instagram and on YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoy yourselves. Hope you guys are enjoying the fights tonight. The main card, there's Umar Purple, Pantoja Negative, Yuri, and Leon Rocky Edwards in the fight that made him. 60 out of 299. Thank you, Phil. I think this might be a, a black to 10, black refractor to 10. Let's see what we got here. Haven't seen one of these yet. GSP. Who is this? Ooh, 10 out of 10. Choi Sung Woo. Wow, big hit there. Bang. Nice hit for the Sung Woo spot. It's a big one right there. Big hit there. Fists of Fury. Got to get all these 87 case hits out of the way. I feel like Matt Hughes might have to say bye. I like Matt Hughes as much as the next guy. But Matt Hughes has got to go. Big Sung Woo. Big Sung Woo to 10. Rookie auto. Big hit. Case is on fire so far. Golds everywhere. Three golds. Trey Ogden is the winner of the fight that's going on right now. Wow, is he bad. Yeah, I know. I pulled a super, though, and supers are beautiful in this. Supers are beautiful. Reds, oranges, supers. I, I love the color scheme in Topps Chrome. I, I really do. Way better than I do in the Panini. I love the supers and the reds. Sung Woo. It's a big hit. Carl, if that's you, congrats. It's a big one right there. Stay hot. Here's an aqua on the back. Stuff is loaded. Color is loaded in this. Dominic Cruz, the Dominator, and Corey Sandhagen to 199. Aqua Refractor. Again, if you joined us late, we'll do a full recap of all the hits. Purples and maroons will get sleeved and loaded. I have seen them, yes. I have not pulled one yet. I have seen them, but I have not pulled one. Rachmanov, Maroon, Yuri, negative, Zhang, and a nice Pajeda to two ninety nine. Whoever bought that spot, that'll play. I do think he wins the fight, but I do think it's a closer fight than people think. I think everyone thinks he wins easy. It's not a great fight for him. Jamal Hill's probably better. Jamal Hill's probably better on the feet, and he's no slouch on the ground. So I think it's going to be a good fight. I think... Auto-wise, Gilbert Burns, Conceal. I think everyone thinks is going to walk through him, and that ain't going to happen. That is actually definitely not going to happen. There's no chance that happens. Pajeda doesn't really walk through anybody. But yeah, 
I'm actually surprised. I assumed people would bid on those two spots as if they were going to get auto of blah. Glover Teixeira. Um, I assume people would bid on these, so this is a bad auto box. Gilbert Burns and Glover Teixeira, those are both $10 autos. If that, there's a Blanchfield purple. But I assume people would bid on those, assuming they were going to get seven or eight base. So I assume those spots, like people would bid on those kind of to the moon, and nobody really cared. So Jacob Malkoon, Izzy, Daniel Cormier, negative. So I feel like if you bought in on those spots, you, you really hit a home run, like a huge home run, because your floor is pretty much, Josh Emmett, your floor is pretty much what you bought in for. And if you get an auto or a numbered card or anything like that, home run. So the Pajera spot is already, or Pajera spot is already paid off. And you got, what, eight boxes to go? Cormier gone, Zhang Wiley, Reyes, Volk, Josh Quinlan, rookie. They got the rookie logo on his. Of course. Because he stinks. Who's going to win tonight? Four or five? Who's going to win the fight tonight? Rose or he boss? Rose is obviously the way, way better fighter, but does she care enough about this fight to come out and win? Cannon Yeh, Brandon Moreno, 11 out of 150. If Rose even, even trained... She walks right through Amanda Hibas. But if Rose is just doing this for the payday, I think Hibas maybe wins a decision. I don't think Hibas can finish her in any realm. She's not going to finish her on the feet. She's not going to finish her on the ground. Zhang, Cyril Gan, GSP Silver. It'd be better for the sport if Rose wins and shows up ready to fight. Everyone's saying, he boss, man, I'm going to bet Rose. I'm going to hammer a bet on Rose. Holly Holm, the Korean zombie. The, the weirdest line tonight, Billy Q was like minus 140 when it started and all the way to now, he's plus 130. It's so dumb. The guy he's fighting is a castaway who took the fight on short notice, has nothing but an up the middle jab. A little bit of cardio has no other skill set at all. And he's now a favorite. Everyone seems to think Tom Aspinall, John Jones, Silver, Sean O'Malley countdown. That's not one, is it? Is that a case hit? That can't be, can it? So many of them, it's hard to keep track of. If it is, congrats to the Sean O'Malley spot. All right, four boxes in, pretty loaded wall. Yeah, it's a cool car. Take a quick 30 second break, guys. We'll be right back. We got eight boxes to go. Let's go. Eight to go. Sung Woo out of 10. Best auto so far. We got a Youthquake bow. We got Natalia da Silva to 99. Couple of case hits. Islam rolling. One in 40 packs. All right. So that's not an easy one. These are great for uh, protecting. The guy that got bitten. I actually bet that guy. Lima. I bet that guy to win the fight. I bet, uh, I think I bet 60 bucks on that guy. And when I watched that fight and I watched him get, I was pointing at his arm and I was like, what the hell is he complaining about? And then they ended the fight and I was like, ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, they're just going to call this, like, am I going to lose or is this going to be a wash? And they gave me the money. Uh, they gave me, he, uh, he won by a, a DQ. Patty Pimblet Maroon. But man, those bite marks were insane. That dude bit him hard. 
<laughs> it was hilarious because he was like, as he was biting him, he was pointing at his arm like, ah, uh, yeah, this guy's biting me. <laughs> could you, could you please uh, stop this? But man, that was gross. I don't know if that guy, I mean, Dana White, Sean Strickland Prism, Dana White's going to cut that guy. And I would. That's the end of your career. 101 out of 199. GSP. For my money, greatest pound for pound fighter of all time. I don't know how he bit him that hard at the mouth guard either, but if you looked, the teeth marks were as big on the top. Oh, they cut him already? Yeah, good. I mean, get out. And, and don't ever let him back either. That was just weird. It was just weird. Like, what are you doing? And the guy's, the guy's 20 years old, and he was hanging with that guy. Uncle Ev, Marab, Robbie Lawler. And tail of the tape. Benel Darius Silver. That's awesome. They already cut him. Yeah, I got Billy Q and I got Rose in my DraftKings. I got both. <laughs> That's awesome, Alan. I didn't know that. I, uh, I've i got it on to the left of me, but I don't, I'm not listening to the sound. I don't want to be distracted, but I peek over every once in a while. Padilla's fighting on this card. That's a rookie, Padilla. He's fighting soon, I think. Matt Danger Schnell. He's into cards, so if you like Matt Schnell, he is a big fan. Yeah, and the other guy was hanging out of the wall, and he got warned for it too. But, I mean, he was – the guy the guy that bit him was 20. I mean, Marlon Vera, Vanessa Demopoulos. The guy that bit him was 20. Marab. I'll be very curious to see if they book – like, Sean O'Malley doesn't want to fight him. He's already talking like, oh, I'll go up and fight Ilya. <laughs> like, I want to fight – and that's the funny thing is, like, Sean O'Malley is already – the reason why he's talking about fighting Ilya is because he doesn't want to get absolutely mauled by Marab. And I like Sean O'Malley. Gamrot, negative. I like Sean O'Malley. I mean, he just wrecked Cheeto Vera. But Marab will absolutely destroy him. He will grab him, drag him to the ground, and it'll be five rounds orange on the back. It'll be five rounds of pain, and it'll be no fun for fans to watch. O'Malley knows that. Dana White knows that. There's another Jamal Hill. Kelvin Gastelum. Connor, tail of the tape. Good luck on this orange. Let's see a big name, please. Out of 25. Nice. Marab, 21 out of 25. Nice hit for the Demolish Philly spot. Future champ if he fights him. I don't see any scenario where Sean wins that fight. I really don't. 21 out of 25. Nice Marab. You want to see Michael Venom Page versus Jan Gary? I'm like kind of disinterested in both fighters. Honestly, I don't really care about either. Um, Tom Aspinall to 150. Nice hit, Future Stars. There's a champ right there. That dude's also not only a champ, but also a hilarious, awesome human being. Nice hit. Nice freaking hit. We got to get Colby out of there. See you, Colby. Nice to see you. Your fights have gotten super boring. You suck now. All right, we gotta make sure this wall is looking right. All right, we got Youthquake Bow back there. All right, here we go. Josh Quinlan, purple, Giga. <laughs> they gave him a bonus. That's awesome, actually. He got bit. Get you a bonus. I mean, dude, some of the elbows he was throwing down the pipe were pretty awesome. I, I was really enjoying that fight. Justin Taffa, he's fighting tonight. I actually think he wins. I think he wins tonight. Uh, the bow's not numbered. No, it's a SSP. One in whatever. I don't know how many packs, but every so often. Miles Johns, man, he looked good tonight. I bet him too. Ken Shamrock, countdown, one in 40 packs. Nice shamrock. Miles Johns was an easy bet tonight. That guy that he fought that sucked when he first came into the UFC and then sucked on the on the show and then sort of held his own and came back. Man, that was such an easy one. Some of these lines tonight have been wacky. Elvis Brenner, purple. Dos Anjos. Marab. Marab is going to get the rainbow tonight. Negative there. And a green. Matosh Rebecca. 94 to 99. All right, last pack. I think we got an auto coming, don't we? 
Just Aspinall so far, right? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Sometimes. Here we go, William Gomez. 123 out of 150. So two refractor autos. William Gomez. Congrats to the Gomez spot. Gomez might be Gomez. I don't know how that's one. That one's pronounced. I think it's Gomez. All right. We got seven boxes to go. We've got a couple of oranges already, a couple of golds, a black to 10. No red or better. We're looking for red or better. How about a one of one Natalia Da Silva? I want to pull that card so that I can attempt to purchase it. God, I want to hit her one of one. She is so good. She's so marketable. She's going to be so good for so long. You guys are crazy for not buying up her cards. She is going to be a wrecking ball for the next 12 years. Great, great stand-up. A lot of charisma. A lot of personality. Ho! Oh, here we go. Let's see. We got Josh Quinlan, Habib, Wonder Boy. This could be her. She's, in, she's a uh, redemption. Congratulations. Her one of one. I don't know. Right now, probably two Gs. It's worth more than that, though. You are due to receive a Chrome Rookie Autograph Refractor Parallel. Be her. Of. Bang! Natalia Christina Da Silva. Let's go, baby. If you want to sell this, let me know. She is on fire. To 150. Let's pull the, let's pull the 101. The breaker wants the card. I'll buy it. She's so good. She's so, so good. There was a Lucindo in there, too. I'm buying. I'm buying if you're selling. I'm an easy sell. You just tell me the price, and I'll pay it. Jan Blahovich, Polish power. Woof. That's like a good $15 auto-ish. Blahovich, Blah, Rakic, Chael P., from Westland, Oregon. Chael P. I love Chael Sonnen. His podcast with Dusko Todorovic, Evloev, Adesanya negative. The, the negatives are too, they're too frequent in this. Negatives should be one per box. They're like eight per box or one per box or eight per case. Like it's stupid. They're killing the value on those. Blagoy Ivanov, Nerdambik, Derek Lewis, negative. Firo, I hope she gets smashed by Blanchfield next week. I actually think I might start buying Blanchfield this week. I think people are kind of panicking, thinking she may lose to her. The only way, I mean, Rose, Rose beat her in the third round of that fight. You, you guys realize Rose smashed her in the third round. Elvis Brenner Prism with one arm. Aaron Blanchfield is going to drag her to the ground and smash her. And on the feet, I just, the last girl Blanchfield fought was better on the feet. And she was fine. She was fine. She was never in any danger. Aqua on the back. I think Blanchfield smashes Firo. I think it's a decision, but it could turn into a submission. John Jones negative. Liddell Ryan Span. What do you guys think? Am I crazy? Does Mana win? Firo have any chance to win that fight? I know a lot. A lot of people don't really care, but for me, that's probably the biggest fight of the year so far. I haven't really given a crap about any of these fights. I care about the Rose fight tonight. I think Rose is great for the sport. Rob Font. Gabriel Miranda negative. Islam. There she is. Thug Rose. You got Mana winning that fight, huh? How do you think she wins the fight? Where is she better? Where is she better? Is she better on the feet? Is that what you got? Because she's not better in any grappling exchange at all. Odie Osborne. Kamara Usman. She's better on the feet. The girl that Blanchfield just beat was better on the feet than Firo, though. Blanch and Blanchfield crushed her in the last two rounds. 
after getting touched up a little bit on the feet in the first round, she was like, all right, this sucks. I'll just take you down and crush you here. Out of 299, Carla Esparza. But Firo couldn't finish Rose. Rose was also like eight pounds underweight for that fight and had a dislocated finger. And Rose crushed her. Rose crushed her in the third round. If that fight went five rounds, Rose wins that fight with one hand. So she's not that good on the feet. And by not that good, I mean she's not good at all on the feet. If you can't beat Rose with one arm, with her left, which is her, with, which is her weak arm, what are you going to do to Blanchfield? Who knows? Who's had, gosh, she's had almost, what, eight months to get ready for you? And she knows if she just takes you down, at any point, she wins the fight. So you don't think she's just been training all striking? Tim Elliott. Robbie Lawler. I think Blanchfield wins 30-27 or, or submits her. I think that's going to be my prediction. T. Kearns, what's up? Umar, Nurmagomedov, Hamzat, and Jessica Andrade. 104 out of 150. All right, that box sucked. That was the worst box out of the case so far. We got six to go. If you just joined us, welcome. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves. Pretty real channel here. We don't mess around. We tell you how we we see it. Watching the fights here, hanging out with y'all. Six to go. Good luck. All right. I want to see a red or better out of this box. Red or better? How about a Super Fractor Sean O'Malley? That'd be a fun card to hit. You have O'Malley tonight, Underground? Or no? You gotta have O'Malley. You always have O'Malley. Michael S. says this case has to heat up. We've got three golds, a black to ten, another black here on the back to ten. Oranges. We must not have hit you anything yet. Black to 10 is Jessica Andrade, 3 of 10. Uh, two more. Two more on the bay. Tomorrow night, Monday night, Austin. Jessica Andrade, black and blue. Back-to-back -back hits for Andrade. Blue on the back. Johnny Bones, Dustin Poirier negative. Amanda, the Lioness Nunez, 144 out of 150. Ooh, we got an auto here. What is this? Joe Pfeiffer. Joe Pfeiffer. I was pretty high on Joe Pfeiffer, but his last fight was, I don't know. It's probably, he was on, he was on Rogan telling a story. He was all top of mind. And then he got beat by a guy who probably shouldn't be in the UFC anymore. And Jack Hermanson, who does nothing well anywhere. Probably the end of Joe Pfeiffer's career, honestly, that fight. He'll be a journeyman going forward. He was on the rise though, but that's it. You don't, you don't lose to, there's a Sugar Sean Silver. You don't lose to Jack Hermanson at this stage in Jack's career and have any chance of any future, unfortunately. Alex Peda, it's 20 bucks if he wins. Jan Machado Gary and Danny Gay to 99. I feel bad. I was really excited about Joe Pfeiffer. Really liked his story. A terrible childhood. Awful father. It's just like a really good feel-good story. He won the first round convincingly. Should have finished him. And then just... Whew, Conceal negative. And then just got worked by a guy that literally was on his way out. Like probably was getting ready to retire at the end of that fight. And then was like, holy crap. This guy sucks so bad I don't have to retire now. Izzy, Maroon, Charles Oliveira, Refractor, the California kid. Dude, it was the coldest day of the year, it felt like to me. 
My son had a party in like a barn. Did he just win? I just, I turned it off because I wasn't, none of the fights were doing anything for me. Leon Edwards, Generation Now. Did he just win? I hope he just won. Leon Edwards, Generation Now. We got a Poirier too. Two of these Generation Nows. Just subbed him in round one. Nice. Good for him. I didn't bet that fight. I had no... I had no... A lot of people were picking the dog there, and I didn't like either fighter, so I just left it alone. Yasmin Lucindo. So I don't... I'm glad the favorite won, actually. Because I usually like betting live dogs, but I didn't bet that one. Kiesa, John Jones, negative, Yuri, and Bruno Fajeda. That's a great photo. Might be the best photo in the product. Dude's just jacked up after a win. Love that photo. I actually don't know much about Bruno. The guy that everybody's on, what, Shara? Have we even seen a base of his? I think we have. Shara Magomedov. I don't even know if I've seen him fight. This could be fun. I don't know what. Obviously, Taylor's thinking, I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Good luck on this. Ugh. Mackenzie Dern. Ugh. She sucks. And people love this spot. Mackenzie Dern auto out of 150. 16 out of 150. Congrats, Mackenzie Dern spot. She is awful. <laughs> she is so bad. She might actually, oh, God, she's so terrible. She got destroyed by Jessica Andrade. Yeah, she destroyed, I, I would have won that, I would have won that DraftKings entry that night. Countdown, Holloway. God, she sucks. But anyhow, congrats to the McKenzie Dern spot. She's terrible. Max Holloway, countdown. People love McKenzie Dern. I don't know why. I, I feel like she sucks everywhere. She is terrible. She's bad on the feet. She's bad on the ground. Personality's all right. God, she stinks. Like, I, future wise, like, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I, I could understand a lot of the female fighters that people get behind, but she's not one of them. Buy Macy Barber. Buy somebody who, like, you know is dedicated to MMA. Like, Macy Barber. That's. That's a future champ. <laughs> Did she? I don't even remember. I hope to not have to see her win and talk. Who's the redemption? Uh, the best fighter in the set, Natalia Da Silva. Best fighter you can buy in the set, Pantoja. Rob Font. Enough with the Rob Font hits. Are there any other big name redemptions? I know Natalia's probably the biggest. I'm sure there's some vet redemptions that are good. Izzy's probably a redemption because he doesn't sign shit. Dern is nice in public <laughs> and nice to her fans. That's great, but she's got you gotta you gotta deliver in the in the octagon. Dustin Poirier rose to 150. It's telling everybody bet Rose tonight. Yeah, Izzy's Izzy's a redemption, of course. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> I, I read the end of that AML. It doesn't do anything for me. It really doesn't. There's a lot better, if you ask me. But hey. Oh, you saw Zhang redemption for her. So she, yeah, she usually doesn't sign live either. Jack the Joker. There he is again. Cowboy. God, I used to love watching Cowboy Cerrone fight. His fights were so entertaining his whole career. Here's another generation now, I believe, on the back. Derek Lewis. Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. Low-numbered Izzy is not redemption. I hate when they do that. You know what I hate more is when they make the non-low-numbered stuff redemptions. And then the low number stuff is. It's like, what are you doing? Um, nah, I don't think there's been any nice Jan Gary. Maybe a maroon? 
Phil, you remember any on Gary? Ludovic Klein. This is a guy I'd be investing in. This dude's awesome. One of the more technical strikers out there. Demir Isamagilov and Zhang to 199. Ludovic Klein just mangled the last dude he fought. Man, is he tough. And he's built like a literal Greek god. Oh, nice. That's a nice hit, Nelly. Ludovic Klein is my guy. I'm buying Ludovic Klein. If you got big Ludovic Klein spots, send them my... Hey, how about that? Any big Jan Machado Gary? How about that one? There you go. Welcome to the break. Thanks for swinging by. There you go. Not numbered. Future Stars Auto. Jan Machado Gary. All right, we got to get some stuff out of here. What's going to get out of the way? These, these case hits got to go. There's just so many of them. So many of them that they don't really count. The Venom ones do. That one doesn't really count. Renato Moicano is a fun fighter, and this is representing Cameron Simon. That's another case hit. I hope he wins tonight. I have some money on him. I love this dude. MSP. Uh, I think you got one numbered uh, Magomed. Usually the first person to ask for their uh, their person in my room hits. Phil will tell you. Phil's been in every break I've ever done. Phil is... Phil's my guy, but any the first person who asks for something usually gets it. It's crazy. And it like not like aggressively asks for it, but just like says, like, hey, any of this, or hey, I'd love a blank. J Brothers. You ask and you get it. But like when the first person does it, you get it. After that, after that, you usually don't. So we shall see. Leoto! Yes! Underground. Let's go, baby. You said you've been in a million breaks and you wanted just an auto. That's what I'm here for, Underground. The Dragon. It's freaking awesome. Love it. I'm so glad we hit that. That's going on the wall. I don't give a shit if it's a big card or not. It's awesome. Underground. Leoto. The Dragon. Let's go. The Dragon Machida. That's fantastic. Ketlin Vera, Nikita Krylov, Brandon Royval, Anderson Silva negative. The negatives are just so often. Max Holloway, Fists of Fury. Brendan Allen and Jack Shore. Yeah, I haven't seen a Jack Shore yet. Yeah, I haven't seen a Legends Auto either. And I've only opened, we opened what, four boxes of this and then this case. So yeah, they're not that easy to come by. Blue Wave to 75 in the back. Jamal Hill, Prism, that'll be a nice one for the Jamal Hill spot if he wins the fight. Be Natalia Silva. Bang! Out of 75, Natalia Cristina da Silva. She's going to get the whole rainbow here. That's awesome. This is my girl, guys. This is, as much as I love Darren Blanchfield, I may actually love her more. Trev, what's up? I may actually love this girl more. This is my new... My new favorite female fighter, and it's not close. Love Blanchfield still. Natalia, two hits to less than 100 and an auto. Trev, what's up? Trev, I thought for sure you were going to get Matt Hughes tonight. Holly Holm, Bryce Mitchell. Matt Hughes was the very first auto out of the case. Just a base, though. But I thought for sure I was going to see you on the Hughes spot. Jamal Hill. The Jamal Hill spot's rolling, especially if he wins the fight. Vanessa Demopoulos, Aljamain, Funk Master Sterling, Cowboy Cerrone. All right, four to go. No red or better. Been a while since we've seen a gold. We got, what, three golds, two oranges, two blacks to ten. Ooh, that doesn't sound fun. Here we go. Good luck. Jesse R. All right. Not really sure how to uh, 
respond to that. YouTube brings them all out. Here we go. Good luck. Four boxes to go. Again, thanks, everybody. Ooh, got another Legends. Be Frank Mir. Rockic. Angela Hill. Fiziev. Come on, Legends. Be a fun one. Frank Mir. Give me Frank Mir. Give me Frank Mir. Damn it. Ah. Congrats to the Frankie Edgar spot. I hate Frankie Edgar. I always did. I'm not going to lie. I always did. I always root for the other guy that he was fighting. I can't even think of his name. The, like, wrestler guy. It was a great fight. Conor McGregor. Blagoy, Dominic Cruz, negative. Anderson Silva's got a bunch of hits. 64 out of 299. Yeah, they sent me a lot of fluffed cases of archives, right? God. Phil, have you ever seen me suffer through two cases that badly? Those cases were so bad. That's so oh, orange auto, orange auto, orange auto, orange auto again. Let's go. Can you imagine if those were fluffed cases, Phil? Gray Maynard, thank you, Carl. Gray Maynard. God, the first orange auto, two orange autos. This case has been loaded with color. I don't care what anybody says. Calvin Cater. Johnny Parsons, Joanna Jadrasic. Here we go. Come on. Who is this? Be good. Be a good one. That's nasty. Max Holloway, 2 out of 25. Orange Auto. Congrats to the Max spot. Yes, sir. One of the realest dudes in the sport. Has never been in a shitty fight, ever. That's awesome. Leota's got to go underground, but he's coming home. So Leota's got to go, but he's on his way home to you. Nice max. That's freaking nasty. The Frankie was not numbered, Carl. It's just a base. Just a base, but still you got one. Ty Tuavasa, Amanda Limos. Amir Albazi. Varela, hopefully that's you. Congrats if so. Love the Max hit. Love watching Max fight. I think Gaethje's going to destroy him. But Manel Kopp, Daniel Cormier. Daniel, Daniel Cormier was really, really talented in the ring. I didn't love watching him fight, but I loved his story and the fact how hard he fought. Gold on the back. Another gold. Yeah, he was there for a while. He represented for you, and he had to go. He knew his he knew his role. Uh, there's Nerd and Beak, Pajeda, Cejudo, Munoz, Brendan Allen, Valentina Shevchenko, who's got an auto that's not on the wall. What a world we're living in where she's not on the wall. And a gold of yeah. Danny Gay, 30 out of 50. Chuck Liddell is currently hiding free audio books. He's currently hiding from you. He may come hang out. I'm not sure. Congrats, Danny Ige, on your on your gold to 50. We haven't seen any of the kings and queens inserts yet. Giga Chikadze, that's my all-time favorite fighter. Rich Ace Franklin, in case anybody gives a shit about the breaker. Rich Ace Franklin is why I fell in love with mixed martial arts. Dude was a math teacher. Wasn't even really that athletic. Didn't play a ton of sports and just decided, you know what? There's a Habib Silver, John Jones, and Megamed Ankalev, Tail of the Tape Silver. Just decided, you know what? I love this stuff. I think I'm going to start training. And became a world champion. Knocked out Chuck Liddell. Knocked out Chuck Liddell. Knocked out, uh, what the hell? Trev, who's your favorite guy? The guy who came out to Sandstorm. Manuel Torres, GSP. Melissa Gatto, or did he get knocked out by him? He may have he may have been knocked out by him. Melissa Gatto to 150. Pull a Kings Connor. I hope to. What the hell is his name? Why can't I think of his name, Trevor? Come on. Wand. Yeah, he knocked him out. That's right. Rich knocked out. Rich knocked out. Ooh, is this what I think it is? It's a green parallel. Yeah, nice. Wanderlei Silva. 
It was the best moment in tough history when Chael said, I can't let you get too close. God, Chael Sonnen owned Wanderlei Silva. Marvin Vittori, 2 of 10. Congrats to my guy from CLE on your Marvin Vittori international flair. All we do is pull big Vittoris. You've never seen him come out to Sandstorm, Phil? Oh, it's incredible. P-Funk, what's up? The Axe Murderer is awesome. But watching... I always hated him because I loved Sonnen so much. Watching Chael on that reality show. Rose again. When when Wanderlei tried to fight him, he was like, I can't let you get too close. I can't let you get close to me. And Chael just took him right down. And then he fought him. Another black to 10 on the back. A lot of good color in this case. Conejo, Bill Algio, Ankalev, and who we got here? Manuel Torres? I honestly don't know who that is. Nine of ten. None of the playing cards yet. Kings and Queens. I was just saying that. I haven't seen one yet. Manuel Torres out of ten. So two cards out of ten in that box. Vittori and Manuel Torres. Not our favorite two, but we got a couple. A lot of people like Torres. That's good. He's on fire. All right, good. Congrats to the Manuel Torres spot. I really don't know much about him. He's one of the guys out of this product I haven't seen fight much. <laughs> Rampage. Oh, Rampage was awesome. I still love the first season. Rampage is one of my top 10 all-time favorite fighters. I'm sad that he's not in any of these sets. It sucks. And why is he not signing? Like, what is he doing? Did he sign an exclusive with somebody or what? For what reason would Rampage not have cards? Does he have cards in old top stuff? Blanchfield. Manuel Torres again. Yeah, he did give out his real phone number. I remember that. God, some of his pride fights were unbelievable. Josh Emmett, Gamrot, Krylov, Malcolm Gordon, rookie, negative, and John Blahovich. Does he really? He doesn't, but he didn't do anything? Never had a Topps Chrome card? Why the hell would he not have a Topps Chrome card? Dan Ige, Fiziev, Connor, Connor to 299. There you go. I love this Connor photo. The one of one of this is going to be nasty. Such a great young Connor photo. Love it. Love that card. The broken door. I forgot about the broken door. The broken door was awesome. Diego Lopez. Everybody loves that guy. Sean Brady negative. When he kicked through and then he realized the door was just nothing. It was the, it was the easy, like, I could have kicked through that door. I think that's a Future Stars auto, but don't quote me on it. That's a nice Yadong song photo. I don't even know if I've noticed that one yet. It's awesome. I believe this is a Future Stars auto. Let's see if I'm correct. I am, and it's Patty the Batty Pimblet. Patty was so hot in this product. Or not in this product, but in this space for a while. And... He fought that guy that like grappled him for a while. And Patty won the fight. Everybody wanted to get behind the other guy. All the Patty haters. Patty's freaking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Patty's awesome. A great personality. He's great for the sport. Is he the best fighter on earth? No, but he's young. Got a long way to go. But the guy he beat, uh, Flash Gordon. That guy sucks. Nobody wanted like like I get the underdog mentality, but like you don't want Flash Gordon winning that fight. That's bad for everything. Catlin Sermonara, Jessica Andrade, Mike Davis is a stud. Bam Bam. He should probably retire. His last his last loss, oh, it's probably the end for him. I hope his team is telling him, like, hey, man, take some fun fights and then make as much money as you can and then move on. You suck. Temba Garimbo and Vulcan Uzdemir. Out of 199. 
Did I watch the Tony Ferguson Patty fight? Yeah, Patty won. Very clearly. I watched the fight. I was talking about the Flash Gordon fight before that, which is when everybody wanted to start jumping on Patty, though. Patty won the Tony fight easily. Dominic Cruz, Sergey Pavlovich, Daniel Cormier to 299. And I like Tony, but Tony, whew, it's probably time for him to let it go, too. Krylov, Shavkat, Garbrandt. I think this is an auto. Not sure what brand it is, but we're going to find out. Oliveira, the last style bender. Rich Ace Franklin. What an awesome Hall of Fame auto that is. Congrats to the Rich Franklin spot. God, that card is awesome. I got to buy one of these. Damn it. And he's got a graph. Of course, he's got an incredible auto. Of course he takes his auto seriously because he's an adult. What a beautiful autograph. I don't know if I've ever seen a rich auto before. It's fantastic. Youthquake on the back. SSP. Good luck. Dusko. Marcos. Ruggiero. De Lima. Tyler Santos. Youthquake is Bo Nickel again. <laughs> Two of them. Two Bo Youthquakes. Well, the Bo Nickel spot did pretty well for like 40 bucks. You got $250 cards based on current comps. You're doing good. Doing real good. We got two boxes to go. Blue on the back. Do we have the blue Natalia yet? Let's get that one. Delize, Matt Danger Schnell, GSP, and Nerdabeek. Out of 150, it's a good one. Guy with a lot of upside. Shylon, Nerdabeek. Bo Nickel Spot, crushing it. John Jones, Islam. Natalia, Max Holloway. Jan Machado Gary. Patty Pimblett, a lot of spots doing really well. Jan Zaunan. Johnny Bones. Foots McGee, what's up? All right, we got two boxes left to go. We're going to take a 30 second break before the last two. Good luck. final two again thanks so much guys for hanging out we got cases tomorrow night and monday night if you love this product i'll be here ripping two more cases billy q lost first round that that line was weird billy q was a huge favorite swung to a big underdog i think a lot of people found out he was injured he tried to play it off did he lose badly i'm sure he did Oh, I survived. The other guy stinks. So Billy Q's cardio, if, if the fight's still going on, the other guy probably will let him win. But, man, Aqua. Luther, what's up? The other guy's awful. 0-3 in the UFC. Movzar Evloev, there's a guy who doesn't suck. Man, is he good. He is a stud. I wouldn't want to fight that guy. Evloev, 161 out of 199. Again, we'll do a quick recap at the end of the break. If you joined us late, all the big hits are in front of you. Everything else is ready to... There's one of the kings and queens. Let's see. It's a king. Kings and queens. Will it be... I'm going to predict that it's Connor or Sean O'Malley. Let's see. It is... Blah. Volk. Congrats to the Volk spot. These cards are cool. I wish I was in Volk's team. And I would have told him when they offered him the short notice fight, don't take it. 
Don't take it. Not against Islam, who's at a full camp. And he destroyed his legacy by taking that fight, too. Ricky Simon. Damon Blackshear. Padilla. Rookie negative. And then he got knocked out by <laughs> Ilya. And all of a sudden, he's not anywhere near the greatest of anything ever. You got to be careful with that stuff. I know you want to be a good company man and take the short notice fight, but sometimes it's more important to just, just do you. Jared Cannonier at a 199. And you knew, you could see, even when he walked in against Islam, he didn't look like he was in good shape. Billy Q got subbed. Yikes. Billy Q sucks, but he's a fun guy. The other guy stinks, but good for him for going 0-3. Going out of the UFC, coming back, taking that fight on short notice and destroying him. Case hit, Tom Aspinall. Yeah, Billy Q sucks. Everybody knew. I mean, Vegas knew. That, every, that was the easiest bet of the year. Tom Aspinall, big hit. Easiest bet of the year. Two Tom Aspinall hits. That's UFC fight night. That line, switched, that line swung like 300 points for no reason. Vegas knew. Yeah, Zalal's fine. There was a nice jab. Does a lot of things very average, but I mean that for that line to swing that bad, something was going on. Johnny Bones to 75. You got a blue and a gold. A lot of dupes on the hits. So that's a wild guy to win. That's wild. For him to just destroy Billy Q like that. He must have been hurt. Had to have been hurt. Vegas knew it. Everybody knew it. A lot of guys were predicting that he was hurt and he walked out and like had an arm injury. A lot of people saw it. Easy bet. I bet the other way. I like to bet the losers. Luana Carolina. It's a rough auto. Congrats to the Carolina spot. How many more fights left? How many we got? All I really care about at this point is the Rose fight. I'd like to see Justin Toppa win. I think he's a tough dude. Dreykus. Carlston Harris, Jack Della Maddalena. Dude's tough as hell. Shogun. Jack Della Maddalena was getting absolutely mauled by Gilbert Burns and then out of nowhere just, just comes with the knee of thunder. Love it. Dude's tough as hell. Michelle Pajeda. Michelle Pajeda may actually be my least favorite fighter in the UFC, and he's so much fun to watch. But I've grown to just dislike him based on his crap performances. Jalton Almeida, congrats to the Jalton spot. He is so boring. God, his spot was... People were really excited about him until he laid and prayed on Derek Lewis and then got massacred. Massacred by Curtis Razorblades. Countdown Nunes. One in 40 packs, according to... Those of you in the chat, I've had a bunch of case hits. Whole bunch of them. No red or better, though. Case is always judged of tops. Dan Hendo Henderson. Case is always judged by red or better. We've had a good case. A lot of gold, some orange, but nothing. A couple of blacks to 10, but nothing red or better. Melissa Gatto. Blah. At a 299. No red or better. Can we get red or better to make it a good case? Last box coming. Good luck. Again, if you guys love this product, I'll be here riffing another case tomorrow night. I can't wait for that. Two Youthquake bows. Johnny Bones crushing the case. Patty Aspinall. Whew. A lot of good stuff. Natalia. So annoyed that they forgot her rookie logo. So stupid. <laughs> Melissa Gatto. All right, last box. Good luck. Here we go. It's 10.50 here on the East Coast. We're going to get you out of here in under an hour and a half on a full case. Good luck. Last box. Gotta see red or better. Red or better, or it's a bust. 
Blue Wave's not going to help. It's to 75. Jared Cannonier, Charles Oliveira, Aaron Blanchfield negative is a nice one underground, and Justin Gaethje to 75. I sure will redacted. Thank you for letting me know. I think that's an auto. It is. It's blah. He sucks. He just got destroyed by Brian Ortega. God, did he get massacred by Ortega. Walked right through. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're Rodriguez. Congrats to the air. Your spot. He was on top of the world. Went and got destroyed by Volk. Went and got destroyed by Ortega. And you're going to be the Brooklyn Brawler going forward. Holly Holm, Silver. God, did he get destroyed in his last fight. I can't believe how badly Brian Ortega beat him. Brian Ortega is a world-class fighter, though. People forgot that. Cody Garbrandt. Tom Aspinall's got three hits in this case. If not for the knee injury, he was a sure thing. And everybody forgot. It's a great investment. Great investment. Unfortunately, I didn't buy any. Ooh, this looks cool. I have no idea what this is on the back, but I don't think I've seen one yet. Looks like a fun case hit. Here's a champion's auto of ugh, Henry Cejudo. Dominic Reyes and energized Max Holloway. Why not another Max Holloway? Max Holloway spot with another case hit. Go with your orange auto. Energize. That's a cool looking card. They should make more case hits. Triple C. All right, the autos in this last box were terrible. Henry Cejudo and Yair. Got a couple $15 autos. Let's see if we can't find a super or a red. Otherwise, it's a crappy last box. Generation Now, SSP. Vittori. Lucindo, Generation Now, Pantoja. Blah. It's another guy talking about fighting other division. Like, what are you doing? You're not that good. Blue on the back. I don't think we're getting a super. My gut tells me we're not going to see one. Valentina Shevchenko's got a number of hits. To 150. Bryce Mitchell. Sung Woo. Aljamain. Sandhagen. Negative. So there's that. Yeah, he has that. That's good. Sparza, Usman. Three to go. Give us one more numbered card, please. Green on the back. Lipsky, Tapuria, Miles Johns coming off a big win tonight, and Malcolm, Flash, and Gordon to 99. Jared Gordon's nickname might be Flash. I don't know if Malcolm, Malcolm's is. I could be wrong on that one. I saw them right here, EJ. They're already sold. They're not mine. Bruno Fajeda, negative. Last pack of the break. I feel like the case is pretty good. No massive hits, though, unfortunately. No monsters. Bunch of good cards, but no monsters. Royval, Yanez. All right. Here we go with the recap. Autos that are not up on the wall. Triple C. Yair, Jalton, Luana Carolina, Rich Franklin, Leoto Machida, Frankie Edgar, Mackenzie Dern, Refractor to 150. Joe Pfeiffer, Jan Blahovic. William Gomes to 150, Colby Covington to 150, Matt Hughes, Valentina Shevchenko, Amir Albazi to 25, and Brendan Allen. Numbered cards in no particular order are redacted. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. No Kevin Holland hits. Danny Gay Green, Nunez, Jessica Andrade, Jessica Andrade to 10, Carla Sparza, 
Span, Blades, Rebecca, Ken Shamrock. Marab to 25. Nice orange Marab to 299. GSP to 199. Sean O'Malley countdown. Moreno, Quinlan. Glover and Gilbert Burns are autos that I'm not smart enough to put in the auto pile. Pajeda to 299. Corey Sandhagen. Leon Edwards. Ottman and Zaitar to 50. Gaethje. Sungwoo. Mizuki. Gil Burns. Anderson Silva. And Sean Strickland. Yeah, you got an Allen in there. Gordon, Valentina, Pantoja, Aspinall, Gaethje again, Gatto, Nunez, Cannonier, Volkanovski, Kings, Evloev, Nerdambik, Cormier, Uzdemir, Connor, Torres to 10, Vittori to 10, Gatto, Dan Ige to 50, Anderson Silva again, Holloway, Fists of Fury, Cameron Simon, GSP Fist of Fury, Leon Edwards, Dustin Poirier, Zhang, Bilal Muhammad, Rose, Rob Font, Max Holloway again, and Bruno Ferreira. Up on the wall in no particular order, let's go with Christina Natalia Da Silva. This is my girl. Natalia Christina Da Silva to 75, to 99, and a refractor auto to 150. Big night for the best player in the product tom aspinall ufc fight night ssp jan machado gary future stars auto max holloway energized ssp and a orange auto to 25 patty the batty auto tom aspinall auto to 150 islam tail of the tape gold to 50 Two youth quakes. Surprise, surprise. Bo Nickel and Bo Nickel. Congrats to the Bo Nickel spot. Johnny Bones, two times. Blue Wave, gold. And probably the head of the break. Choi Sung Woo, 10 of 10 auto. 10 of 10 auto. There you go. Let me grab a screenshot of the Allen auto. If I can find it, my man. There you go. Get you some. Try to get my hands out of the way. Zach Taylor, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks again for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow night with another. Carl, if you guys want to hang out tomorrow night, I'll be ripping another case. Are you good on that? You got it, EPW. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your Saturday night. Enjoy the fights. We'll see you tomorrow night. Another case. Bye-bye.